the production, what was most important for you to change from the original Mercury production? Mm. I think the original album sounds really cool in its own way, but it's um, kind of because it's uh, it's part of its time, I guess, yeah. in the 90s. But it was important to try to make it sound like we sound now, or and have been really since Old Flesh is Grass, I guess. Yeah. More like in your face drums and guitars, and that it's uh, not like bathed in reverb. <laughs> <laughs> that the performance is in the center and the, not, not the effects kind of. Yeah. That was, other than that, I didn't really have a like major big goal for the production, but. Basically, that's it. To kind of make it near and closer, and of course, heavier and more aggressive as well. We didn't have the. I think we were all. We were never all of us there because we didn't have. Uh, yeah, time or. Yeah. We were not in schedule. Yeah, this time. Had to do it. So basically, it was we've done it with uh, vocals, guitars, and drums. Sometimes, and uh, yeah, just rehearse the songs and then try to and work out details during the recording also, because you hear it's okay. small changes here and there. But basically, it's gonna. That, I mean, that kind of sucks for drums, because you are the first. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. The rest of us can like play around a lot more with things, but you have to kind of like set your stuff before yeah, you hear everything of, else. It's a nice... Yeah, it's a, it can be like a challenge. <laughs> like trying to imagine parts yeah. that are not maybe there yet, but... You have to guess a little bit at yeah, where the song's yeah, gonna end but up. But also, but like uh, generally recording these songs is. Uh, it's. Uh, cool, but it's also an existing album, which I we also have a lot of respect for the yeah. original Mercury album, so it, <laughs> it's been. It's also a little bit like, ooh, should I. Mess with it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> doing your own thing or doing a version, but still respecting the original. Yeah, I'm not messing. Try I mean, not to mess with it, but you did something interesting with several dif different uh, ambient micings for the drums. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I, I I thought that was a really clever idea because they had such different characteristics. Yeah. Just basically trying to make use of the room that we're recording in. It's not like an ideal studio, so there's quite a lot of work in trying to make it sound <laughs> like I think it should. But yeah. Um, yeah, that was the idea. Just catch, you know, several parts of the room, different corners, and where it's bright, where it's dark, so it combines into something cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also that's a bit. Um, at least for Shadows coming home was the idea trying to bring back some of the, the ambient drum sound a bit more. Yeah, because that was a very characteristic feature of the drum sound for Flesh, I think. Yeah, it was. I don't know if it quite ended up there, but that was the, the original <laughs> goal. So maybe more in the future we'll see. Like it has been uh, lately, me and BP working on the bass side. Uh, I have um, mainly with most of my bass lines, but then again, me and BP work together and 
just to like make it, make it more perfect with the guitars and uh, this time it was also important I think to keep some of the signature bass lines from the Mercury album like uh, some parts of uh, Grinding Silence and uh, Remnants of course <laughs> it's very signature for the whole, yeah. whole song <laughs> Couldn't change that. No. I think that's the one thing you can't change and call it the same song. <laughs> I guess um, plugging up the old 5150 amp <laughs> and trying to mic it the best I can and just going for it basically I did all my stuff all my guitars parts first by myself yeah um, just basically sw switching on some guitars around like the Fender Strat and the Les Paul and not that much amps this this time mostly the old PV that's even older than Mercury. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's for the, uh, yeah. I was, I think I was 14 when I bought the amp and it still sounds pretty good. Yeah, do you hear that PV? Do you want to give us an endorsement maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's PV. <laughs> yeah. I did all my guitar work over two weekends. BP had turned the rehearsal space into um, kind of a studio and then um, uh, we had a blast recording there. Uh, the only con is that uh, both me and BP are kind of nerdy, or at least some people would say that. <laughs> uh, so we play a lot of guitar, we twist some knobs, and we forget to eat. Uh, but I wouldn't change it. It's really sat satisfying working with a person like BP, because he cares a lot about the end result, and so do I. The hard part is to keep focus and kind of landing the good takes. Because, you know, there's one, one thing to play the riffs and you play it right, you know. Uh, but it's a completely different skill set to get the good takes and, and kind of decide on the fly. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad BP is a rock solid producer. Uh, but all in all, I can't wait to do this again. <laughs> Hva skal det være? Hva er det noen kunstprosjekt? Dette er det på. Ok. here at uh, Lopo Studios and I kind of prefer that because the room is extremely boring 
<laughs> it's a shitty little room, but it's good for vocals. It's quite isolated and it kind of like no distractions. And I also like that you're away from where you usually are, that you have a special place that's the recording space that's sort of like you can go somewhere else and do that. Yeah. Uh, but what were we doing? We were rehearsing for the tour. Yeah. So we had to, had to start rehearsing for the tour. And then we had to move, because Loppa is tiny. So we had to move all the recording gear out and move the rehearsal stuff gear back in. So I think I recorded three songs here and then we recorded the rest at Beepi's Omnimore Studios. Uh, which is also good, but it's... Uh, I prefer to do vocal recordings in like one stretch, but because of scheduling this time, I had to like split it up a little bit. But it works. It was fun recording these again. Uh, vocals... Um, I have a hard time remembering what I was doing. I think you did yours a little bit sort of in between things. Yeah, yeah, I actually did because of the schedule too. Yeah. When people had the time for recording and stuff, I kind of just if there was a day when no nothing else was happen happening, I just yeah take my keyboard with me that has a wireless connection and stand in a booth pushing record, screaming, stop record, scream, <laughs> and then listen back after three or four takes, and then probably doing it again if it sounds bad. If not, then it's okay. Yeah. Come down. 